Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca, back of the Church of Chewbacca, and we're doing the fourth episode of five for the top no money spent players per position. Right now, we've already done the starting pitchers, relief pitchers and catchers, as well as the middle infielders. This episode is going to be the corner infielders. So corner infielders are first baseman and third baseman, if you guys don't know. So what this is, this is going to be the best guys you can grind for. No money spent in the corner infield. Primary positions at third base and first base. Now there are some guys you can still kind of buy in the market without grinding, such as the such as the inning program bosses. However, you could have gotten one of them for free, so that's why they are part of this no money spent, because you really didn't have to spend any stubs to get them if you chose that player. If you guys are enjoying this no money spent top five series, Please hit that subscribe button. That way we can continue to grow the community and keep making this channel bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm enjoying all the positive feedback that you guys have been giving me and all the comments and all the questions. And I hope these videos are helping you guys out. All right, let's get in to the top five list of corner infielders no money spent. Honorable mentions. The first on the honorable mentions list is the first baseman, Carlos Santana. From the Cleveland Indians team, Affinity. He's their face of the franchise card. He has secondaries of catcher and third base. He's a switch hitter, 88 overall, right handed throwing. He has diamond hitting, bronze defense. Take a look at his hitting attributes. He has 70 contact versus righty, 96 contact versus lefty, 83 power versus righty and lefty, 86 vision, 108 discipline. His fielding isn't that great at 76 fielding, 59 overall. Arm strength, 56 arm accuracy, 74 reaction with 28 speed. The biggest reason Santana's on this list is his secondary position of catcher makes him very valuable, especially since his primary is a corner infielder. As well as he has a very, very glitchy swing, and he just crushes left-handed pitching. He even crushes right-handed pitching. He just has a glitchy swing, always lifts the ball, always hits the ball really well. That's why he's in the honorable mentions here. The next guy in the honorable mentions is the first baseman, Matt Olson, face of the franchise for the Oakland Athletics. Another face of the franchise card. He has a secondary or right field, bats left-handed, throws right-handed. What makes this Matt Olson super terrific and great value is his defense. 95 fielding and 94 reaction. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Obviously, he's a first baseman, so he doesn't need to have great arm strength or arm accuracy. Only 36 speed, though. Also, his hitting attributes are very good when it comes to power. 104 power versus righty, 90 power versus lefty. With 82 contact versus righty, 57 contact versus lefty. Obviously, the lefty-lefty matchup's a little bit hard for him contact-wise. He only has 58 vision, but when you connect with the ball, especially versus righties, it goes a ton, especially if you get a squared-up hit or a good-good. So, really, with his stellar defense and the fact that he has a huge frame at 6'5", 230, I think that's very important for corner infielders. And his um, tremendous power, he gets an honorable mention here. He's still a lot of people's first baseman, too, if I'm being honest. The last guy in the honorable mentions is a future stars card, the first baseman for the Minnesota Twins, Alice Kirilov. And he has secondaries of left field and right field. He's left-handed batting, left-handed throwing. Looking at his hitting attributes, he's 101 contact versus righty, 93 contact versus lefty, with 88 power versus righty and 75 power versus lefty, 92 vision. His fielding is, it's okay, 80, 81 fielding, 85 arm strength, 75 arm accuracy, 74 reaction with 44 speed. He's not the biggest body at first base, but he does have good enough fielding to get an honorable mention here. As well as his hitting is fantastic, you can just look at the attributes and the 92 vision. Makes him a very good card. He's somebody that could be a bench bat for you at the very least if he's not your starting first baseman. He also has a very smooth kind of glitchy swing. That's what's putting him in the honorable mentions here. Coming in at number five. Coming in at the fifth spot, starting off this top five of the corner infielders, we have Nolan Jones, a future stars, third baseman of the Cleveland Indians, 94 overall. He's right-handed throwing, left-handed batting. Secondary is a first base, left field, and right field. He has diamond hitting and diamond defense. Take a quick look at his hitting attributes. 96 contact versus righty, 73 contact versus lefty, 106 power versus righty, 98 power versus lefty with 59 vision. 117 discipline with 94 clutch. His fielding is a little bit less than his hitting is. You're looking at his fielding is 79 fielding, 95 arm strength, 89 arm accuracy with 74 reaction, 45 speed. So he does have a cannon. So he's a big, powerful kid. Huge power bat, big time arm. Let's go take a look at the quirks and see how they relate. Bomber, Walker, cannon. 
sniper, pressure cooker, unbreakable. So he's going to have a tremendous arm. He's going to hit the ball very hard. He doesn't have the contact quirk, but he does have walker, which is nice for the walks and, and check swinging. So overall, I think this card's very good coming in at the five spot here. He could be a little bit higher, but I mean, he just, the vision at 59 plus, I'm not a huge fan of his swing. I know a lot of guys like his swing a lot, but he does have tremendous amount of power, especially versus righties. And I think you could maybe bump up the four. You could maybe see him in the, in the top two. It's just, it's really tight with these corner infielders once you get in the top five here. They're all pretty much what your preference is based on who you want. But he's number five for me. Coming in at number four. The fourth spot has the future stars Cabrian Hayes of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Third baseman, right-handed throwing, right-handed batting. And he has diamond hitting, diamond defense. Pretty much he doesn't have any secondaries. It was kind of a letdown. But I mean, he only really plays third base. Especially since he's one of the best fielding third basemen in the game. And even in real life, he's a really, really good glove in the minors. Um, we're going to look at his hitting attributes. 97 contact versus righty. 89 contact versus lefty. 72 power versus righty. 64 power versus lefty with 85 vision. So he's not a big power hitting corner infielder, which is not... I don't know. It's just not what corner infielders do. He doesn't have a lot of power. But he does have good vision. He does have good contact. He does have a very nice swing, so he does get a lot of base hits. And he's very fast for a third baseman at 83 speed, as you can see. He does have 93 discipline and 95 clutch. Those are definitely worth mentioning. And then where he really, really shines as a card, and what got him at number four, is he's the best fielding third baseman in the game. It's not even close when it comes to these attributes. 98 fielding, 92 arm strength, 90 arm accuracy, and 99 reaction. He pretty much is a vacuum cleaner over there. He's going to make every play possible at third base. And his defensive run saved for your team is going to be amazing. I use him in the event with all the future stars. He never made an error. He made some ridiculous plays. He looked like Brooks Robinson over there in his prime. It was ridiculous. Really, really like this card. And I promise it's not my Pittsburgh Pirates bias showing at all. Like a lot of people agree, this is a very, very good defensive card. And he actually plays above his attributes when it comes to hitting. Let's look at the quirks he has. He has hitting machine, 2020 vision, walker, soft hands, quick reflexes, cannon, sniper, pressure cooker, unbreakable, and bunt master. It just makes sense he has all of the important defensive quirks based on his attributes. As you can see, the hitting machine, walker, 2020 vision, he's going to be a hard out. He's probably a guy that's going to bat 8th, maybe 2nd in your lineup, but probably more towards the 7th, 8th hole. But he's going to be a guy that gets on base. He can cause some havoc when he gets on base 2 at the 83 speed. I just really like this card, especially defensively. Coming in at number 3. At the third spot, we have the future star for the Philadelphia Phillies that you could get have gotten from the event, Alec Bohm. He is a 95 overall third baseman that can also play first base. He has great across-the-board hitting attributes with 104 contact versus righty, 91 contact versus lefty, 92 power versus righty with 84 power versus lefty, 91 vision. He is a right-handed batter, right-handed throwing, just so you guys know. 89 discipline and 103 clutch. Defensively, his fielding actually isn't that great at 70 fielding and 66 reaction, but he does have a cannon of an arm with 94 arm strength and 86 arm accuracy, 58 speed. What I will say, even though he has a lower fielding, he does have a huge body at six foot five, 225 pounds, so that might help him some at third base. This card is more of a hitter than it is a fielder. That's what's coming at number three, and his hitting is just so well-rounded across the board that bumps him into three over Hayes and Jones. It's just because it's so well-rounded, and he has the higher vision. So he's like the combination of Hayes and Jones for hitting because he does have the power, he does have the contact, and he has the better vision. And I just think it's a very well-rounded card. Look at the quirks. Hitting Machine, Bomber, 2020 Vision, Walker, Cannon, Sniper, Pressure Cooker, Unbreakable. So he does have very good hitting quirks. He has all the important ones. And then he does have the huge, big cannon of an arm. And that's what we like to see for third baseman. The big body frame, I think, will help with his fielding and his reaction some. So that's why he's at number three on the list. Coming in at number two. At the second spot on the list, we have the 1999 veteran, 94 overall, Chipper Jones, the switch-hitting third baseman for the Atlanta Braves. 
I'm not sure why it's a veteran card. He actually won the MVP in 1999, so he could have got a hardware card. But he throws right-handed. He has secondary positions as shortstop and left field. He's diamond hitting, bronze defense. Really, the only thing that doesn't put Chipper at number one here is the fact that his defense is bronze. He's just not a good defender. But if you look at his hitting, he has 88 contact versus righty, 105 contact versus lefty, 88 power versus righty, 114 power versus lefty. He has 80 vision, 125 discipline with 91 clutch. The fielding is not that great. 67 fielding, 71 arm strength, 69 arm accuracy, 65 reaction, 64 speed. Although with the 6 foot 495 frame, like I said how with Alec Bohm, I don't know if the fielding is going to be that big of a deal. The fact that he doesn't have a huge arm kind of hurts a little bit, but it is what it is. He's also a switch hitter, which makes him super valuable getting those lefty, righty, righty, lefty matchups. Take a look at his quirks. His quirks are hitting machine, bomber, walker, pressure cooker, unbreakable. He has good quirks. He doesn't have any fielding quirks. Obviously, he has the big three hitting, the hitting machine, bomber, and walker. Guys, what I will say is you can unlock him in the third inning program, boss, but he still can be bought on the market. So it's one of those things, too, where he's not fully no money spent. If you went with a Brian Roberts or the Shane Victorino, you'd have to pick Chipper and lose out on some other guys that are can be considered no money spent and better. That factored a little bit, but honestly, I just think the guy ahead of Chipper's just a little bit of a better option. But when Chipper prestiges, Chipper 100% is probably number one. They're kind of like 1B and 1A. I'm also not a huge fan of Chipper swing. Everybody loves Chipper swing. I don't hit well with them. So you'll probably disagree with me in the comments. You'll probably leave some comments, maybe saying I'm a moron or something and Chipper should be number one. Chipper for life, whatever. But he's number two on my list. You can agree to disagree, or you can agree with me. But let's go see who's number one. Coming in at number one. Taking the top spot, and this will probably be a little controversial, considering Chipper Jones is at number two, we have Nolan Gorman, 95 overall future star, third baseman for the St. Louis Cardinals. He's left-handed batting, right-handed throwing, has the secondary position of first base, diamond hitting, Diamond defense. Looking at his hitting attributes, he's 102 contact versus righty, 81 contact versus lefty, 108 power versus righty, 94 power versus lefty, 66 vision, 101 discipline, 100 clutch. Looking at his fielding, it's 79 fielding, 85 arm strength, 87 arm accuracy, 77 reaction with 55 speed. So the reason he's number one on this list is he absolutely crushes balls for power. Yes, he does have the lower vision at 66. However, I still think he's a decent-sized PCI because his contact's so high. And he just has better power than Chipper from both sides. And he hits about the same contact-wise as Chipper does. Chipper's a little bit better. But really where Gorman takes off from Chipper is he's just a much better fielder. Even if you prestige Chipper, Gorman still outfields him. And that's important in this game, especially with the way the fielding is. You have to have a guy that can make plays defensively or just giving up runs at third base. Prime example is the other night I was playing ranked seasons. I blew Chipper Jones up with Mike Trout. I do not think you're going to blow up Gorman if you hit a hard ball at him. And I mean by blow up Chipper Jones, it like rolled up his stomach off his chest and went into left field. So if you have a guy that's not that good at fielding this year, you get punished. And SDS said you're going to get punished. So the fact that Chipper Jones fielding is so bad has him at the two spot. That's why Nolan Gorman's number one. Let's look at his quirks. His quirks are hitting machine, bomber, walker, sniper, pressure cooker, unbreakable so he has the most important hitting quirks and then he has sniper for his big arm so if he does bobble the ball a little bit he can get over there get the ball over there nice and accurate has a pretty good arm strength guys this rounds out the corner infielders top five i don't know let me know if you agree with the list or you don't like i said leave some comments i'm sure some people will be a little butthurt that i didn't put chipper jones at number one but whatever it's my list if you have a different list let me know down below but this is no money spent, corner infielders, the guys you should go after a 100%. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, please hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up so I know I'm doing a good job. Hit that notification bell. Also, you guys should come on over and watch me on twitch.tv slash hopefulchewbacca. I stream Monday through Thursday, 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, I will stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if you guys are kind of busy during the week. However, I don't have a set schedule. So you might want to follow me on Twitter, at Hopeful1137. That way I'll tweet out whenever I'm going live those days. Also, if you want to play me in a friendly or you just have any questions, can't get reach me 
on Twitch or if you don't want to leave a comment for whatever reason on a YouTube video, I don't know why you wouldn't want to, but if you don't, you can always add me on PlayStation Network. Hopeful 1137, I'd be, I would be more than happy to play a friendly with you or help you out any way possible. Guys, I appreciate everyone watching. Please have a great day and be safe.